So I said a little while back I was going to do a video on the uh, the way that I do flick shakes these days. I used to use a flick shake weighted jig head. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of weighted wacky rigs. I uh, use those the vast majority of the time unless I'm in really shallow water. Um, but the ones that I like, the, the weed guards tend to break on them. Uh, you catch one fish and the weed guard breaks. So it, it, it gets expensive after a while and, and worse as you spend a lot of time retying. So I've come up with a new method. I found a, a, a few new things to, to help me with that. The, these things are called Cheb regs, uh, Cheb weights. Uh, you can see the full name there. I did not even try to pronounce it. They come in different weights. I'm using three gram, which may be slightly heavy. It's about an eighth of an ounce. Uh, one and a half might be a, a better, uh, but these work pretty well for me. The best hook that I found is this Ichikawa uh, hook, uh, and I'll explain why in a minute. Uh, I also use the, the VMC uh, Neko Weedless, and I have tried these trocars, but I don't like them. Uh, I, I like the hook itself. I like the bend. Uh, I like the, the way it, uh, it hooks up on fish. The problem is, is the, the weed guard is just way too flimsy on it. It really doesn't do anything, and it, it, when it bends out of the way, it just bends and it stays, and it, it's just not very functional. Um, so, real quick, you, you take the, um, the Cheb Rig um, weight, and uh, what it is is it has this little wire uh, inserted in it, and it goes in a slot in the Cheb rig. Sorry about the focus, but you uh, so you take a, a, you, you take that little that little wire out, and, and it's easiest to do this with a pair of needle nose pliers. I found, um, and I like to run from the top down. It takes a little bit of finesse to get it in there, but once you get it in there, it just pops in, and you kind of flip it around so the. Uh, the big side is is uh, on the hook there. Um, and then once you have that, you take your, your weight piece, and there's only one way this will go back in there. Uh, you can try to start it the other way, but it just doesn't fit properly, so uh, you'll figure it out pretty quickly. And I'm probably going to do it backwards to begin with. I do about 50% of the time. So, but you just slide that back in, and I actually think I got it right that time. Uh, easiest again to take the pliers and kind of push push it through um, and then it seats um, it, it's not I don't think I did do that right let me try flipping it over yeah <laughs> so you see how the the little end piece comes out a little bit further this way there's only there's only one right way to put it in there so once you put it in there like that there you have your your weighted uh hook and then you you tie your your line on uh, here um, and that keeps everything together so these ichikawa hooks i i really like the shape of them and um this one's not doing it but one of one one of the ones the original one i was doing with maybe after it gets wet it will because this is tied on and not glued it got to be loose, and when a fish would hit it, it would knock the weed guard out of the way. It'd knock it off to the side, and I'd hook the fish. And then when I started to use it again, all I had to do is just twist the weed guard back up in place. Um, the the uh, Nico hook, I really like the shape of them. Th their fiber guard is, is pretty stout. Um, it doesn't break nearly as bad as the titanium ones do, uh, but it does break after a while, too. So e either, I mean, these, these are a little cheaper than Ichigawa, so... Uh, those are really good hooks. Uh, one thing I do like about the Ichigawa is it's got that little twist in it, which seems to give you a little better hookup ratio. Um, so don't do not do this on the boat. Go ahead and make some of these ahead of time because it takes you you know a couple of minutes to put them together. And if you're bouncing around on the boat and trying to use the pliers and you're going to end up hooking yourself or losing pieces and parts. And uh, these little weights are, they're not expensive, but they're not cheap. They're 75 cents each or something like that. But uh I found that these last pretty well. The only time I, I, I mean, you can always reuse the weight if something happens. To, if your weed guard goes away, you pull it out, put a new hook on, and reuse the weight. Uh, the only time I lose them is when I lose the whole thing, and that's when I break a fish off usually. Um, if, if I don't retie enough, I'll break a fish off. And I'll give you one more tip to what I do when I when I rig these up. So I use uh, braid deleter about 99% of the time. 
and um, my leader comes down and I, I tie a small uh, barrel swivel to the end of it and then I have another line between this and the barrel swivel and it's really short. Um, you know, some people say that you worry about extra knots. I get that. I, I, I don't really have knot failures very often. It's the line that fails usually. Uh, and that what that barrel swivel does is it takes all the line twist out. So it, however your wacky rig spins and, and whirls or whatnot, uh, you don't twist your line up at all. So um, hope you, hope you uh, got something out of this. Hope it's useful to you. And uh, if you try it, comment and let me know how you like it. Thanks.